Yo guys, what is going down? It's MC Noble here. Uh, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I want to talk about vinyl rips for you people. Now, I had a comment on a stream that I did a couple of days ago, and it was someone that was asking a question uh, about vinyl rips. And I thought, you know what, I will touch up upon this uh, topic and I will answer the question um, for this guy. So first off, what is vinyl ripping? So basically, vinyl ripping is where you basically get the audio off of a vinyl record onto a computer. And essentially, it's where you make a vinyl record into a digital track. So you take the audio from the record and you record it onto your PC and it then becomes a digital track. Now, is this... A good thing to do it's not a terrible thing to do but in this day and age it's not really a common thing to do and what I mean by that is is a lot of tracks nowadays there will be a digital version of the track or probably more than likely someone has probably already made a vinyl rip of the track now one thing you've got to look out for when you are looking for vinyl rips on the um, internet and the websites is you've got to look for the quality of the tune. Now, you can sometimes download folders and they'll be full of vinyl rips. So maybe somebody's got rid of their record collection and they've just ripped every single track on to uh, digital. But the quality of their recording might not have been that good. Now, for example, years ago, a good friend of mine, uh, DJ Overdrive, used to have all the Clubland tracks on to uh, onto vinyl and he essentially got rid of his vinyl collection and he actually you know recorded them into digital um because he has a, a good idea as to, to about levels he's a producer he knows what he's doing he actually recorded the uh, sound and the audio of the the tracks off of the record on to a you know onto his computer with a decent level so how do you actually do a vinyl rip so how can you actually rip a track on to the computer from a vinyl record so what you need obviously is a record player and you need to have the record player going into your dj mixer and then you need to have a line in from your dj mixer going in to your pc and then you can use um, recording programs. Uh, one of them that I like to use is a program called Audacity. And you just make sure that you've got a line in level picking up the sound coming from the mixer. And you have a level set decently. And you can just play the record and you can record through the Audacity. A bit similar to if you was to record a vinyl mix. But instead of doing a mix, you just record the one record. And you just export the audio uh, that you've recorded into Audacity if it's a good uh, level. So, like I say, is it really something to do nowadays? Um, it's not a, a common thing to do nowadays because, like I say, a lot of tracks nowadays will already have probably a digital version anyway. Or someone will have made a vinyl rip, say, years ago. Now, the question that was specified to me was... Do I rip my vinyl records and make them digitally? And the question is, is no, I, I haven't done this. And one of the reasons for this is because um, a lot of the records I've got, there probably is already a digital version of it. And two, I like to play them on the vinyl record itself. And it's just a cool thing to do. And, um, you know, I just think, you know, it, it, it's a lot of time. I've got a lot of records. So if I was to go there and sit through and rip every single vinyl record that I actually own, it would actually take a lot of time. And I probably could have just got them, you know, digitally, probably for less time. I might have maybe had to pay some money for it. But at the end of the day, it would have been worth it if I'd sat through and recorded every single vinyl record that I own. However, a good way or a good reason for doing vinyl rips is if you actually have a white label. So if you've got some white labeled records that were rare, maybe only ever got released on record, and 
you know, they just, for whatever reason, never got a digital version. For example, I have a, a Good House uh, Club sort of remix of Michael Jackson's Billie Jean, and I've not come across a digital version yet. I'm not saying there isn't a digital version. I've just never found one. And it has tempted me. It's crossed my mind a couple of times to actually um, record the, the track onto, onto digital. But another big thing that you've got to look out for is the quality of the record. So, for example, if your record's quite dusty, if it's quite crackly, if it's got a few scratches... The audio recording will pick up the crackles and the scratch. So when you do play it digitally, you are going to have that crackle. You're going to have that um, sort of like, you know, that sort of like bad sound where the records may be a little bit worn out. It's been, you know, used for a lot of years and maybe it's not in uh, the best condition. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I've never done it because my Billie Jean record is not in the best condition as such, but I might maybe have a go at some point. Um, but to answer the question, I don't vinyl rip just, like I say, for the simple reason that you can just get most of the tracks um, digital nowadays. And, um, you know, someone's probably done a vinyl rip if you can anyway, and there'll be one kicking about um, somewhere um, on the web. But I'm not saying don't vinyl rip. You might want to do a vinyl rip and you might want to get your own level. You might want to do it properly so you can get the level you want. Um, you know, you might just potentially want to do that. And if you do want to do that, there's absolutely nothing wrong in doing that. It's just personally not a thing that's as popular nowadays and not as many people mix with vinyl nowadays and people that have... Uh, quite a fair few of them have maybe sold their collection or they just keep them and still play them vinyly anyway because they're not that fussed about um, having it digital. Um, but yeah, that question uh, came from the Brummy Baseline, um, Baselines I believe it was, and um, that's basically to answer your question. So I don't personally vinyl rip, but there's there's nothing wrong in vinyl ripping, it's just not as common as it maybe was, say, 10, 15 years ago or something like that. Uh, please do like, please do comment, please do share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.